are inching closer to the days of fan eggs and soon to hit the aisles are the artists to shop. Showcasing their many talents, we have one to spotlight on the show today. Tony Polson is here from Hand Over the Hero. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Dina says she's geeking out over here. Big time. Yeah, over here. <laughs> yeah, he called me a geek lovingly. Like, he gets it. He understands it. It's cool to be a geek. It is cool. All these characters that my kids know and love, some characters that I loved since I was little. Talk about the different ones you have here in the mix and the fan base that the geeks oh. have. It's 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 what it is now. It's it's huge. Like it's good to be a geek, and all the movies we get, and I've drawn an assortment over the years. So I just kind of offer you know something for everybody. So Tony, you create art by combining these recognizable pop culture icons, mm -hmm. and what do you do with them? So everyone's being handed over by their different counterparts, allies, someone associated with the story. Okay. So that's my niche inside the Comic Con and art festival scene, and it, it's caught on. How did you get this idea? <laughs> it started 10 years ago with a joke with my wife, with our cat being handed over for a Valentine's Day card, and uh, luckily I have a bunch of supportive fans, and it's it's like I said. Okay, it's wait, I'm, I just got it. There's a hand in every. Picture. And it's the villain. So see, Doc Ock is handing over Spider-Man. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, here's Bowser handing over Mario. There you go. Okay, who's it. this guy? So that's his trainer. This is his trainer? And yep. that's Charmander. That's, that's Charmander. Charmander. Do you know all of these? Uh, a lot of them. Is this Groot? <laughs> is this Groot? Bashful. You that's got it. Oh, I knew Look, that you one. know it too. <laughs> I knew one. How do these sell? Like, how do people react? I have to imagine they freak out like I did when you put these all down. So luckily, like I said, I have a killer fan base, always making new fans, but my stickers are well known because they're all waterproof vinyl. So I have people that have had them on their car for eight, nine, ten years. Like water bottles, six oh, years. Oh, you're totally putting so, this on your water bottle. Yeah. Look at SpongeBob. <laughs> Who's handing him over? That is Squidward. Squidward is handing over yeah. SpongeBob. And okay. it's pretty fun because Tom Kenny, the voice, actually sells that at his table. Does he really? Comic. Yeah, it's like, it's. I've, I have a lot of cool stories up after 10 years. These have caught on. Who's this? Our producers were out here taking pictures of this and freaking out, but so, I didn't know that one. Yeah, this is Appa. So Appa and Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. So we teamed up with Nickelodeon, and this is my second uh, vinyl I've made with U2's company, and uh, it's been great having it. It draws people up and brings them all to the booth. <laughs> when did you know you wanted to make this a career? Um, I've done this for 10 years. I thankfully had a very supportive wife about six, almost seven years ago. It said, hey, I believe in you. And she said, let's do this. You're you know, 35 at the time. If you don't try this, you'll regret it. So thankfully, like Fan X has been, that's where I started 10 years ago. and. I thankfully am able to do this full time and travel. Talk about the evolution from that first fan X here to traveling all over and blowing up. Just uh, growing, obviously, the selection of characters and fan base and making connections with the studios and whatnot. And yeah, oh, there's some. Do you connect with the studios at Comic Con? Um, some and of them, yeah. It's been fun to like. Uh, mingle with them and they always like different iterations of their characters. So good at that. So, <laughs> wow. So I work all traditional, so I work with markers and, and then scan those. Oh, and it is so cool to watch you because so, people see that on your social media. Yeah. How you put these together. All right, let's talk fan X. I cannot believe it is coming up so quickly. You'll be there. What are the fans like? What do they say to you at your booth? <laughs> I, will, I tell everyone this, I'm like, Fan X fans are a fan of Fan X. Like, they love the convention. And like other ones that are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Fan X is Thursday, um, Friday, Saturday. So Saturday's a madhouse. Friday's a madhouse, Thursday's a madhouse. It's crazy. What are you working on that's new for this year? Do you have a new oh character gosh. in the works? Uh, I always have new characters in the works. So those are secrets. So you oh. have to go. Like a lot more, yeah, a lot you more Spider-Man stuff. Yeah, you gotta find us. Are there questions like can people make custom orders when they come to Fan X with you? Yep, I do commissions, uh, not on site. Okay. Because I'm just too busy, luckily. <laughs> but um, but yeah, there's always something new. I always try and mix it up and I've done it for so long that I'll you know retire characters and bring out new stuff. Coolest job ever. So, Where do we follow yeah. along on your social media? So Instagram at Hand Over the Hero and my website's at Hand Over the Hero. There well. it is Follow on me. your screen, everybody. And don't forget Fan X coming up in September. You will be there. I will so be there. you can go and say hi, ask him all the questions we didn't. I'm sure you get crazy ones from fans uh, sometimes. Bring them on. <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> Fan X is coming in, can you believe that? 44 days. So head to their website for more info. It is go time. Yes. These were awesome. Thank you so Thank you. much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Up next, breaking records. What the Barbie movie has a Achieved at the box office.